So here's the plan. We have this big bougie mansion that we built actually over on TikTok Live with everybody. And we have a garage here at the end, which everybody knows in The Sims is completely useless. Cars are still not functional in The Sims 4. They are purely objects of clutter and what that makes garages just kind of redundant in the game they don't really serve any purpose unless you give them a purpose so we are going to take this garage here we're going to come up with five different uses for this garage which is currently empty apart from one car that we've placed in it which we can delete it i just thought you know what this mansion is so big kind of is it's like the type of house that the owner would definitely have at least two cars. So let's try to do a few with the car and then a few without. It's kind of a big space, so we're going to need to use the space wisely. I'm thinking the first way which we actually use for the TikTok Live version of this house is we're going to turn it into a home gym. So let's get out some sports equipment and let's let's make this look like a home gym. Okay, so I've got out some fitness equipment and then I've put out uh, three mirrors along the wall here. We also have a mini fridge and a football next to the fridge. And then on top of it, I wanna do a water bottle and the, there you go, this, this is what we used. And the towels from Spa Day. Spa Day has some really, really good clutter items. So I think the little towelettes are gonna look really good here. They're called pyramids of absorption. Okay, and then some other details. I think we could do a TV, a TV above the mini fridge against this wall here. Should we, should we do the big one? Yeah, let's do the big one. And maybe a robe. No, because there's no shower. Uh, maybe a bench or somewhere to sit when you just want a break. Here you go. Might actually do this here and then just bring this forward a bit. Okay, finishing details. Let's add a clock to be able to time yourself and to be able to time your workout. Let's do... I just hate all the clocks in the game. Let's do this one here. The clocks are so bad. Just looks so pixelated. Done! Okay, so this is garage number one. We have a home gym. All right. Right, moving on to garage number two. We're gonna keep the car there and let's, oh, let's turn this into a laundry room. So I'm actually gonna take the same kitchen counters that we have in the kitchen and I'm gonna line one of the walls with them and also actually gonna do them here because they fit really nicely with this storage unit. Okay, then let's do our laundry. I don't wanna do them on top of each other. Actually, maybe I do. No, I'm gonna do them like this, not on top of each other. And then we can take some tall cabinets actually and just frame them like that. Put the sink here on this side. I was thinking of doing the kitchen cabinets uh, as top shelving, but I think I'm gonna see if open shelves look better. Like, yeah, I really wanna use this. This is really pretty. It looks really nice. What if we were to do it? Mm, that looks kind of random. Maybe that's too big. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay, this is from Illogical Sims. This is a, a little shelf here that I did not even know I had. That looks really nice up there. This is from, well, it's called the Eco Small Shelf. It's a custom content piece. And then I'm gonna filter now by uh, Laundry Day and then add in all of the Laundry Day stuff. I also think we could really do with a window. Yeah, let's, let's do a window right there. All right, I'm going through now and just adding some random clutter. We have the laundry detergents. I'm gonna do this carpet here. Just keep it kind of off center, like it's a little bit more thrown together. All right, I'm going through and adding some clutter now. We added some clothes, the laundry basket. Now we can do some uh, products for the sink. And I'm kind of thinking about whether we should take that item from, I think it's Island Living, the one with the clothes already hang hanging on the line. I think that could look kind of nice here. This. <gasps> yeah, I think that could be kind of fun to just have this like this. Yeah, or maybe that's too busy. Is that too much? If we were to do it, I would probably delete the car and have it like this. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, no, I don't think it's necessary. Let's just keep it open. I like that it's a nice big open space. Okay, done. There you go. Laundry or garage number two is a functional laundry room. Okay, for our third one, let's delete the car. And now we have a huge space to work with. I'm kind of tempted to make this either a home cinema or... No, let's do a home cinema. Let's do... We're going to turn this into a home cinema in the garage. So I'm actually going to get the same kitchen counter 
counters and I'm going to have it so that the home cinema is here. So then we can have a little, I want to do a snack area. Okay. I think that might be a little tight. We could turn it around to here and just have two like that. That might be better. And then on the end here, we're going to do a little mini fridge. And then I actually don't know. I actually don't know what we have for movie snacks. We have the entire movie hangout uh, category, category actually. So let's just go through that a little bit later. Okay. Let's do the big TV up here. We'll do it there. And then I want to do a big red carpet or red seats. Maybe let's do the chairs first. Big home cinema seats. We definitely need recliners, something that stretches all the way back like these. Oh, wait, that could be really fun. Kind of unsure about whether we should do the, the ones from Dream Home Decorator, make like a whole custom um, couch, or we do the recliners. Hmm. All right. Okay. I might've changed it. I think I prefer these, these uh, custom couches from Dream Home Decorator. I thought the other one was looking a little bit too much like a community log. So I think we're going to go with this design instead. Tempted to bring in some red here somehow, but I didn't like how the carpets looked. So we could just do, yes, these red curtains. I think that that's, that's a good way, a good compromise. I've only placed it on one side, so it looks like you can carry the curtain across. Okay, then let's do, let's get some big speakers. Ooh, okay, we have this speaker here. The, it's called the Landlord Whisper. I'm not sure why, but I've just placed it in the center of the TV console here. Oh wait, or is this better? What's better, that one? Yeah, maybe this one. Yeah, that looks more like a home cinema. All right, now the fun part. We are going into movie hangout. I also think there's Cool Kitchen has some fun stuff. We have these open cabinets here, which I think could be kind of nice to have with the lights. And maybe we get some fun chairs instead of the black ones. Yellow. Yellow could be kind of... Or red. Okay, I'm going to delete these black ones. Red ones could be kind of nice to go with that. I feel like home cinemas, we can get away with some color. doesn't need to be so matchy matchy. Yeah. Let's do lime green. That's fun. Okay. Then movie posters. I wanted to do on this side, one up here and one on that side. Let's do this one here and this one here. And then maybe one here actually. Let's do this, but a smaller version. Wait, we actually have a home cinema screen. What? We... Oh my God. This is called the indoor movie projector. I mean, that's, that's huge. That definitely does the job. Do we do that though without the speakers? Yeah, that looks way better. Then we have a, an ice cream machine and a popcorn machine. I think we're only going to do the ice cream one on top of the mini fridge. Cause then I want to do a, a sink over here. Is that it? We don't even have any fun snacks. No fun snacks. Okay. We're going to have to make our own snacks. All right. We've made a little custom snack bar here. We have three jars with different goodies and then a stack of bowls and some spoons. And then I found this Halloween bowl here from the spooky stuff pack of candy. So I've just placed that instead of the magazine magazines on the, on the, um, table. So, oh wait, we need a little trash can and then we are good to go. That is our, there you go. That is our home cinema finished. That is a garage number three. This feels like it would, your Sims would enjoy it the most. They probably spend the most amount of time in here watching TV. All right, let's move on to garage number four. Okay. For this next one, I think I'm going to turn it into a little bit of like a studio, an artist creative space. So I'm kind of tempted to put in a bed here as well, but no, I think I'm going to keep it just to being like a workshop for a creative space sim. We are going to need a few different things and then the rest we can create some kind of floor plan with. We're going to do an easel. We're also going to have, but I think there's a table that looks like it has a uh, kind of art stains or paint stains on it. Oh, this. Yes. This is custom content, but this is exactly what I wanted. Let's do a yellow and a green, orange, and the blue. Oh, wait, the blue. Maybe here, let's do a peach. And then I want to do a desk. And I think I want to do a desk like this if we can get it in 
That's kind of cool. We could do that one. Kind of want one that looks like it's been upcycled. Although the yellow's not bad. That one looks a bit more creative. Yeah, let's do this one because it has some supplies on it. Oh, wait, or this one. This one definitely looks like it's been... Oh, yeah, let's do that one. And what else? I want a couch in here. Probably the one from Eco Lifestyle. This is a good couch. I wasn't planning to do this one, but I like the colors of it. That matches well with everything. Let's do that one. And maybe I'm matching armchair or we could do two of the oh no these this is a nice matching armchair i think i might have a little place here to look out not with the tv maybe just like this and then let's do the uh trunk as a kind of table perfect just like this like that i've also got a stack of briefcases here kind of tempted to do these ones even in this print here or the new ones that we got with the high school pack are super nice as well these ones could do a row of three. Mm, no, I think I prefer the other ones. Okay, I think I'm actually just gonna go with these, the more neutral ones, because I then wanna do a bunch of different carpets in here, maybe different colors, and I think it might clash. Oh my God, yeah, the fluffy rug. Yes, that looks really cozy. Yeah, let's do it like this. Yes, and then we can get a table in here and a light. Okay, we can decorate that in a little bit. And then I think let's get another light in here, maybe the one that we had before, the more industrial looking one. Okay, then we need to figure out the floor plan for this. So I'm thinking we do this kind of table and chair situation here, that there, the desk here, and then the easel like that. Yay! Okay, so now we can decorate. We have a lot of items with the artistic careers that would be good, the unlockables. It usually takes me ages to find these. So let me see. Let me see if I can go to them quickly. It's things like the table, and then we have a stack of canvases. I can never find them. Ooh, I'm also getting these fairy lights, which I, I think they look really nice, kind of stretched across the whole ceiling. I still haven't found the items that I'm looking for. Surprise, surprise. Oh, okay, I'm just adding clutter right now, but I've come across the table that I actually meant to use. The the, the one that I was talking about that looks like it was paint stained. It's this one here from the, um, the one of the kits. The, I always forget the names of them, but the kids kit. It's this table here with the chairs. So we could actually, hang on, we could actually change the chairs. Let's see how these chairs look instead on this side. Yeah, that's, that's nicer, I think. It's less intense. And I love the way it looks like every chair has been customized. That's so nice. Okay, so I am going through now and adding some clutter. We added the canvases. Actually, we scattered a bunch of canvases around. This side here, we have the, finally found it, the RT supply table. Canvases, canvas storage. I added some decor to the walls. Also on this side, we have a lot of books, more artwork on the floor and then I'm adding different things. I think that's good for this. I think I might just get a, a garbage or a trash. Don't have any plants in this entire room. Oh my goodness. Okay, my favorite plant, let's get this one. Okay, and then on this side, I think also good. We have more stuff, more canvases, and then I think I want a little television actually. I wasn't planning on doing that, but this feels like a good space for it. There you go, perfect. We'll just do a little TV. That is it. That is our artist studio complete. So you're sim can come here and paint and get creative they can also use this as a bit of a hangout so that is garage number four let's move on to our last one okay last but not least we are going to turn this into a streaming room so you can actually stream in the sims 4 yeah sorry that was confusing for me to say <laughs> but yeah you can actually have your sim stream with the get famous expansion pack and it's really cool i'm actually currently exploring the whole video content creation media skill on the disney legacy challenge that i'm also doing here on YouTube. So I'm learning a little bit about it, uh, more about it than I did before, but you can also stream. So we're going to turn this into a streaming room. The absolute non-negotiable streaming backdrop, which we are going to use these modular pieces. Um, actually, maybe if I just was to search them, they would be a little bit better, but it will make sense when I do it. You'll know exactly what I'm referring to. This here, this is a streamer staple. So many streamers have this and then you 
you can put in different, I don't know, I feel like all of this kind of stuff here would look great in one of these cabinets. So we're gonna have this as the streamer backdrop. Also, I think we have a green screen. Hmm, I'm kind of unsure about whether we'll do a green screen or one of these backdrops here, but maybe we could do a bit of both. We could have different sections. We could have the green screen here that you use to make like TikTok content. And then you have the camera in front of it. And then the streamer desk here. I don't know, that's one option. And then here I also want to do, we got to have a big gaming setup as well in here. So we can do a large TV right in the middle. Huge TV. Maybe that TV is way too big. Right, we'll size it down a bit. Huge TV and then a big couch here facing this. And then lots of like the gaming consoles here. We have the gaming console there and the PS5 right there. And that's it. So that's well, no, that's not the room done, but that's the basic floor plan. So now let me go and add the rest of the bigger furniture and then we can clutter. You know what? I think I think I'm going to filter by the high school years uh, pack because I think it's going to have a lot of the items that we want to use. Like this chair here, there is a full streaming computer that comes with the pack. Look at the streaming desk. It's got everything we need. So let's move that over to here. We'll have that there. What else? Oh, that couch is maybe better. Do we have it in pink? We do. Let's do it in pink. I feel like this is this is the perfect couch. Ooh, these neon lights as well. Definitely the neon lights. If we had one that says game on, that would be amazing. Ooh, the rainbow also. Oh, wait, I like the lightning. Let's do the lightning. There you go. Let's do the lightning like this. Okay, I'm back. It's the next day. I ran out of time to film, but we were in the middle of our streaming room. So I added some big furniture at the end of uh, yesterday and decided that I was going to film filter by the high school years expansion pack or is it an expansion pack? Yes, because there is some really good gaming streaming uh, items there like, oh yeah, we were doing this. So this is the gaming computer that I was talking about. The ultra wide gaming PC monitor with a mic. We have the camera somewhere. There you go. The camera's in there. Keyboard. It also comes in pink, which I think is nice, but I, I think I'll keep it in white. Um, okay. What else do we have? What else do we have? I added some backdrop stuff here. We have the vinyls and pol Polaroid pictures. Kind of want to add this mirror as well in the this color, in this swatch. So I really want to find a carpet that works in here from this pack. Oh, the lemonade one! I always refer to this as pink lemonade. I feel like this could be the one. The pink and yellow, or I actually kind of liked... This one. Ooh, this one or... No, let's do this one. I do use the pink lemonade a lot. Okay, we are done. We are finished with our garage streaming room. This is definitely one of my favorites. I actually built this based on what my dream streaming room would look like. So you have the little lounge here in the corner. I added some artwork down here on the side. We have a neon sign here, which I think is for the boba store, but from high school years, but I think it looks nice. This could be the branding of the streamer. And yeah. Yeah, just somewhere to play games. The TV is not centered. Oh wait, hang on, this whole thing is not centered. Oh no, hang on. Wait, what did I do? Maybe this is like this? <laughs> okay, I don't know what I did, but there you go. Um, okay, then you come around here, we have a bookshelf. I added some boxes here with a uh, bear on top. And then this is the streaming setup. So I cluttered out the cupboard at the back here. We have books and gaming stuff, magazines, random little knickknacks. We have some old CDs here. And then I added some items to the desk. We added the Elgato accessories from Ravachine, the mic, the wave no, the um, wave mic, the stream deck, and the ring light here. And I added a carpet. And also I switched out the uh, artwork here for the tripod stuff. And then we added this green screen to film other kinds of content and a light. And that is it. That is our streaming room. And that is all five of our streaming rooms. No, all five of our garages done. Let me know down below which one you like the best and also any other uses that you could suggest to make your garage even a little bit useful in your Sims builds. But I hope you have all enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.